guys, welcome to Medical Tutor. My name is Bode and I'm here for Medical Students. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about the five most important topics you need to read before the jam exam in biology. Now, talking about reading, I'm not asking you to do a full type reading or something because there is no time again. So, you need to just do a little bit of review on these topics because the questions that are always from them are always numbering up to 10 or so every year. So um, before we go into what we have for today, please make sure you click the subscribe button. It's going to help the channel go a long way. And thank you for doing that. God bless you. Alright, so uh, the first topic you need to review right now is reproduction. And I mean right now. Now, reproduction is a type of topic obviously re repeated every year. The difference is just the context on which reproduction is released or the organism the reproduction is asked about. For example, some, some years jam can ask you about the reproduction process of uh, a protozoan or protista and sometimes jam might ask you about the reproduction process of a plant so all you need to do is this you don't need to check out the definition of reproduction because obviously you are aware of it all you just need to do is open your textbook try to check the examples and see the for example you see in some textbook like say essentia they will talk about protozoans and be like okay this is the mode of reproduction of protozoans just a line so check the examples under reproduction in your textbook Check the organisms that are listed there. Check their mode of reproduction. For example, they can put paramecium and put dash and put the reproduction example there. So most times, Jan do, does not really ask questions on human reproduction because of the advanced and adult context. So, but in case they ask, you already know the type of reproduction humans undergo. That's sexual reproduction. So for other organisms, we have a sexual reproduction. We have and this budding and others. We have the fungi, the way fungi replicate. Um, reproduce we have bacterial replication so all those kind of things you need to put it in it they can ask you what is the mode of reproduction of bacteria and they'll put the options there so try to check out the examples it should just take you about an hour or so and you're done so let's move on to the second topic that jam is most likely to repeat a lot of questions from the Z. the second one is uh, uh, adaptation now the reason why I pick adaptation is because I, I studied some of the past questions before creating this video I studied some past questions and I saw a lot of similarities between the questions being asked. And one of the similarities is adaptation. Now, adaptation, you already know what it means. And sometimes jump can ask you the mode or means of adaptation of a particular organism. For example, they can ask you the mode of adaptation of a cactus plant to the desert. So now if they ask you what's the mode of adaptation of a cactus plant to the desert, you know the desert place is where there's um, scarcity of water, very high scarcity of water. So because of that, any plant you find, they have to find a way to reduce water loss through transpiration. So cactus plants, they do not have leaves. So because they do not have leaves, they don't have stomata as well. So the water loss is reduced drastically. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Because of their lack of leaves, the, the water loss is drastically reduced. So that's how cactus is able to adapt to desert. Do you understand? So they can ask you of other organisms, not just uh, or not just plants alone, they can ask you the means or mode of adaptation of other organisms to the environment. Look at water lily. Water lily is able to survive in water abundant region because of its ability to float. That is buoyancy. That's its own means of adaptation to the environment. So those are the things you need to check. Check adaptation. See the examples on how some organisms are able to survive. That should take you just at most 30 minutes or so. And the third example you need to check right now is excretion. Now excretion is just a very simple thing and there's no way in a year that Jambo won't ask a question on excretion. Just you can check it to see what I'm talking about. So how does excretion questions work? Jam can ask you what is the mode of excretion of this organism. For example, Jam can ask what is the mode of excretion of insects. And they'll put it there. They can put options like Marfigian tubules, spiracles, those kind of stuff. They will ask you. They can ask what is the mode of um, excretion of humans. They can list the lungs, the skin, the kidney. They can list them there. So they can ask you of even plants. But really, they are, like, it's very rare for them to ask. Of them. I think the only thing they can ask you on plant excretion is what are the waste products that the plant gives us. For example, they can, the resins, I hope you know those resins, those things that come out from the back of a plant, they can ask you those kind of stuff. But most times they ask excretion questions based on animals. So go, go and open your textbook, check excretion topic, see the organisms listed, listed there, and see how they excrete. Just check their mode of excretion. Don't try to understand anything, the time is short already. Just pick up the answer that is there. Okay, oh, pl uh, paramecium, this is the mode of expression. Simple, and that's all. Do you understand? So, the third, um, the fourth topic you need to check right now. Uh, I, I want to find the better way to arrange it. That, sh that should be nutrition. nutrition. Now, you can see that there's a bit of similarity between excretion and nutrition. And in nutrition, 
they, when Jam asks you a question, they ask you about how an organism feeds. For example, I'll give you a common example that Jam is always asking at least two to three years, two to three years, and I want you to also put it in mind as well. You can check it out in your textbook later. That is uh, the bladderwort and sundew plants. I believe you have heard of them before. Bladderwort and sundew plant. They are plastic plants. They find their way to eat by trapping organisms. Do you understand? I think you should have seen the image or diagram in your textbook. And at least in a year or two, Jam will ask questions on them. So Jam can just draw a bladderwort or perhaps just ask you what is the mode of nutrition of the bladderwort. And you have to answer. So check your textbook on nutrition and you see the examples, the bladderwort, sundew, they are all there. Check the way they like feed the way they feed so and check the types of nutrition that we have at least most of the time say they don't ask on how an organism feeds jam we ask you the types of nutrition we have we have the, all those holotrophic feeding all those kind of feeding just check them out understand them which organisms they belong to this thing should take you at most 20 to 30 minutes if you are fast enough so and even if you are slow it should just take maybe 40 or 50 minutes so try to check this out and the last topic you need to check which is very important is cell I notice that whenever Jam wants to ask questions on cell, they either, uh, they either draw the diagram of a cell, point to an organelle and ask you what organelle is this. I think I was reviewing one past question uh, before creating this video and I saw a place that they drew a cell and they pointed an arrow to the organelle and they asked what is the function of this organelle. So sometimes they might not ask you to identify the organelle, they might ask you to identify the function instead or state the function instead rather. So it's not every time Jam will point to something and ask you to identify it, sometimes they just point and ask you what is the function. Do you understand? And this brings me to um, the, the plant vascular system. Talking about plant vascular system, I hope you know we are talking about the xylem, the phloem, right? Okay, so the just like in humans where we have the arteries and veins, so that's how we have plant vascular system, the xylem and the phloem. So there are always sometimes questions on this, so you can try to check that as well. Check out the function of xylem, which is transport water, phloem to transport food, those kind of stuff, check them out. And you can also check the, um, the long tuna section. I'm uh, sorry, the transverse section of a dicot root. So sometimes they also have some monocot root. So I think I've already given you five and I've added two already. Like I said, check the vascular system of a plant. It's very rare for them to ask of humans, but you can also check. And you can also check the uh, transverse section of a monocot or dicot system. How it is arranged, all those cambium, etc. Check them. So like I said, the five most important topics you need to review right now. It takes just at most four hours for you to review all these topics and check what I want you to check. I'm not asking you to read everything. Just look at the examples given there and the answer that it can, like the answer you will, you will have to give if you ask questions on that. The first one I said reproduction, check organisms and look at their mode of reproduction, sexual, sexual, body, and those kind of stuff. I told you the second one to be adaptation, check the adaptation topics, see the organisms that are listed there and how they adapt, like how cactus plants adapt, do you understand, and what are lily, how they adapt. The same thing applies to um, animals as well under adaptation. For example, they can ask you others. Um, uh, what's it called? How those beds? How do they cope? How do they cope? The feathers, all these, all these things are adaptations. They are insulated leg that helps them to stand on even electricity wire without getting shocked. All these things are modes of adaptation. So check those organisms. The same thing happens with uh, excretion. Check organisms and their mode of excretion. Check nutrition, their mode of nutrition. Organisms, plants. Check all of them, and also check the the last one, which is cell diagram. What is the difference between plant and animal cell diagram? Try to understand the content of the organelle. Try to check the odd one. And for example, the chloroplast is in plant cell, whereas it is not in animal cell. So try to check it and understand the function. And I think I mentioned something about plant vascular system and uh, the dicot and monoculture, which is always coming up. So I think by doing by just doing a review of these seven things, five and five major and two minor, you should be able to score at least 20 or 20 something of the questions already. Ex aside the other questions though. Just these seven topics can give you almost 20 or 15 questions already. They can draw a diagram of the cell and give you four questions on it. That's how Jam sets they don't, they don't want to waste their, their, their time or yours. So they can set a simple question and ask you to answer it twice or four times. So try to check out all these topics and just have all the questions from them be a bonus mark for you. So that's all I have for this video. Please make sure you click the subscribe button before you go. It's very important to also recommend this video to your friends.